right guys, welcome back to the channel. In this week's video, we're gonna start off by setting some more of these concrete blocks. So the first step in doing that, I'm gonna dig up a bunch of this dirt. I'm gonna set a nice base of gravel down and then we can start placing the blocks on top of that. Let's jump right into it. Okay, so we got three of the bricks laid down. You can see I filled the inside of them with gravel. I don't know if that'll make a difference or not, but I'm doing it anyways. So now I just gotta keep digging this dirt out, keep laying the bricks down and then move along. taking a break from laying these bricks I need to water my trees today and lately when I've been watering them a lot of the water has just been running away from the tree so I'm gonna grab a shovel dig a little trench around the tree and place some rocks around it that way when I fill it up with water the water's not just running away also I have some like tree bark and stuff like that that I'm gonna put in there and hopefully keep it a little bit more damp so the Sun doesn't just dry it out right away so let's jump in my truck we'll throw some rocks in there and a shovel and let's get started on that Staying in here in the AC jet. Okay, so we got all six of them down at the very bottom of the driveway done. So we got five over there. And we got this one on this side of the driveway. So these are all white spruce trees. And then in between them, we have poplar trees. So I just finished up these five on the driveway. If you missed it in last video, these are Black Hills spruce trees. Now we got a few more to do over by the house and then we're done. Okay, I ran out of time to finish the rest of those trees tonight, but I still do need to water them. So let's jump on the four wheeler right now. Let's fill it up with water and let's go water the 20 little trees. Okay, so tomorrow I'm gonna finish up the rest of these trees and watering the rest of the trees. We're done for the night. Real quick, I'm gonna show you my tree watering setup on my four-wheeler. So this is an old four-wheeler that I got. I got this from Lowe's, it was like $160. It's got a 2.3 gallon per minute pump on there. So I would run, I'd run each tree for 60 seconds, putting 2.3 gallons on each tree. I try to do that at least two, two or three times a week. And then when I'm done doing it, I'll put this little trickle charger on here, make sure my battery gets charged up again. So that's it for today. We'll be back tomorrow to finish that stuff up. Okay, it's Thursday. I just got home from work and today the rain gutters got installed up here. So on the deck, we did a chain as a downspout. And then on this backyard right here, we did normal downspouts and we're gonna dig up the lawn eventually and we're gonna run them underground into a dry riverbed. So we actually had a flash flood a few weekends ago, 
I'll throw up a video of it right here. And it basically makes like a river running down the backside of my property. So instead of having it flood the lawn every single time, we're gonna do a, a dry river bed through there and kind of do some landscaping, make it look nice. And then we'll tie all the downspouts off the roof into that. And then it'll have a nice place to go and drain off away from all the grass and everything. So I'll show you a little bit of that and then I'll go up front and I'll show you guys the chain. And then we got to jump on the four and we got to hurry up and get the rest of those trees fixed up and get the rocks around them. chain on the deck looks super cool all right let's go get the rest of the trees done so we can finish up this brick divider okay so up here by the house we have blue spruce trees and then we have a weeping willow hybrid tree in between them so we got a few going down this side and then we got a few going that way so I'm not gonna bore you guys with showing every single tree, but I'll show you one or two more and then we'll jump into the next thing. So I just finished up all the trees. I got them all watered and I got a notification saying that my new toolbox that I ordered last month is ready for me to pick up at Home Depot. So I'm gonna jump in the shower, clean up, then we're gonna jump in my truck, head down to Home Depot, pick that up, and then I'll be able to get some of the clutter from my storage room down into the shop. I can organize it all and neat in my toolbox and get rid of some of that stuff. So let's get ready and go down there. Okay, so we just got back with the toolbox. We're gonna to open it up and see if there's any assembly required and get started on it right now. set up it was pretty easy there's just a few bolts to put this grab bar on and a few bolts to put the wheels on so this is the 46 inch black on black workbench you can see we got a power strip here with usbs and that's the cord right there to plug it in so this will be perfect for me i can put all my nail guns and stuff down in here and then my impacts here and wrenches and screwdrivers and stuff these do have the soft closed drawers on them. Pretty sweet. Okay, right now I'm cleaning up the shop. I'm getting rid of some of this extra siding and stuff that's been in a big pile right here. So we're gonna put the toolbox over here, get the dirt bike over here, and kind of organize the shop a little bit because my friend JD's coming over later tonight. And he's gonna be taking some pictures of the inside of the shop and the inside of the house because this shop house is gonna be featured in a magazine here in a few weeks. So we're gonna get it cleaned up, get a few more recent pictures. He already took some of the exterior last week. So I'm gonna throw you guys on a time lapse. We're gonna to get to cleaning this place up and check it out.
looking nice and clean. Rearranged a lot of stuff. Cleaned a lot. I think we're ready for some pictures now. I'm gonna go upstairs, make sure my room's clean. And then I'm gonna start bringing stuff from the storage room down here and I can put some more stuff on these shelves and in my toolbox over there and just get rid of some more clutter up in that room. So my friend JD's up here now. He's gonna get a few pictures for that magazine. He's got a really nice camera. He's really good at taking pictures and editing them. So he's up here helping me out. I'm gonna leave his Instagram link right here. Go check out his page. He likes to take pictures of really cool cars and stuff like that, so. After spending a few hours organizing and moving all my tools down to my new toolbox, you can see this room looks a lot better. Now the plan for this room is to put a desk right here and put a computer on the desk and put my printer and stuff in here. So you can see we got all these boxes labeled. So this is a lot better in here. I'll be able to have like a little bit of an office space and still have tons of storage in here. So before this weekend is over, I wanna finish that concrete divider out there. So I'm gonna go down and get the tractor and then dig up a little bit of that dirt so I don't gotta do it by hand. And then we'll see if we can't finish that up today. Jet. What's up, buddy? Say hi. So we just got that done. That's gonna wrap up this week's video. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you wanna watch more videos like this and we'll see you later.